the hundred thousand demon drop. You'll make it a real weapon? Well, yes or no. Do you want to train under a former Yokozuna or not? Decide! <gasps> I'd be honored to train with you! <laughs> How long will you be in Nagoya? For one week. All right, then the two of you will be spending that entire week here with me. Huh? I get why you want him here, but why do I have to stay too? Before I take you on as my apprentice, there's one thing you must promise me. Both you and the young lady. Uh... You will do exactly what I say and without complaint. And you will never ask me to explain myself. Do we have a deal? Who's that man who took Ushio and Reina away? Hmm? Judging by your reaction when he showed up, I'm guessing he must be somebody pretty important. Important's a serious understatement. Can't say I'm surprised Ushio didn't recognize him, considering how much he's aged. That man is a former Yokozuna by the name of Shunkai. He was not only a skilled wrestler, but also a great trainer. Two of the athletes he coached attained the rank of Yokozuna. <laughs> he trained two Yokozuna? Well, I gotta say, I didn't see that one coming. From what I heard, he quit the association and walked away from Sumo. Think the kid'll be okay? If the rumors about the old man are true, I wouldn't last three days. Same, Same here. here. <laughs> Thanks for all your hard work. <laughs> hey, look who finally showed up. He's a lot different than that half-pint national treasure. This guy's even taller than the Sekatori. One glance and you know he's the real deal. I appreciate the invitation. Too bad for Ushio. I see why he's in such a rush to improve. But now he's training with a former Yokozuna. Even the Sekitori were intimidated by him. What terrifying trials will he face? <sighs> no way we'll be able to pull this off! We don't have a choice now! Our training started and we gotta see it through! <gasps> Excuse me! Pardon me! So sorry! Make some room! Ridiculous! Please, what the hell kind of training is this? The first task of your apprenticeship is to go fetch us some food. Huh? I'm hungry for curry. You have exactly 30 minutes to serve up enough for all three of us. Yes, sir! No way! You can't make curry on that kind of budget, and with a half-hour time limit? He told us using our heads was part of the training, so there's got to be a way. You made me wait that long for this garbage? Yes. My apologies, sir. No toppings, and you missed your deadline. You'll have to do better than that. Walk his dog, water his flowers, do his damn laundry. Where's the actual sumo? We've been stuck doing chores all day long. Well, it's all part of the training. Still not done? What have you been doing? Twiddling your thumbs? I I'm sorry, Master. Whatever. Just get the area around the sumo ring ready for use. Huh? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you want to practice? Yeah! Thank you, sir! It's about time. <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work. Hello. Sorry for dragging you out here. <gasps> Gonryu! The fifth-ranked West Magashira! Your training partner for today. Now show him your triple combo. Yes, sir! <laughs> See? Interesting move, don't you think, Sekitori? Hmm. Okay, little demon. Sir? Use your triple combo to win a bout. You may not use any other technique to win. Uh, right. Uh. That's all you've got? No advice or anything? <laughs> he knows the element of surprise is gone once the other guy's seen it. This is no different from the practice session earlier. You've been at it for 15 minutes. That's enough for today. <sighs> What? It's over? Damn it! Here are your bags. Well, how's training going so far? Like you can even call it training? The geezer is crazy! He offered to help, but all we've been doing is menial labor. I say we just call it quits and head back to the rest of the team. This was only my first day. I can't back out now. If I gave up like that, I'd leave with nothing but regrets. Keep an eye on him for me. Huh? There's only so much I can do. Master Shunkai sure lived up to the rumors. 
Don't know how he roped that kid into training with him, but I feel sorry for the guy. He's making him do all these ridiculous things just so he can enjoy the spectacle. <sighs> Supposedly, he turned two wrestlers into Yokozuna, but I'm betting it had more to do with their natural ability. I mean, there were plenty of others he trained who couldn't deal with his stupid stunts and abandoned ship. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Now there's this kid. You'd think the poor sap would have realized what's going on. And what's with that technique of his? We're not doing gymnastics here. He's so desperate, it's laughable. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoken that way about you, sir. I don't care what you say about me. But you better make sure I don't catch you laughing at that boy. <clears throat> because you two have been blessed with larger frames, you'll never understand. Think about it. There's only so much the boy can do with that small body of his. He needs that technique. Do you still think this situation's funny? He's giving his all. Never laugh at that. Now he expects us to make an eight veggie stir fry with a hundred yen? Yeah, right, not at these prices. I wonder if this coin's supposed to represent me and the veggie stir fry is my goal. Learning how to wield the hundred thousand demon drop. Like a riddle of some kind. Huh? Well, whatever the case, I'm gonna put my faith in him. I've decided I'm seeing this through, even if he asks me for the impossible! Uh, oh, come on! Seems pretty plain to me. That looks like a three veggie stir-fry. What happened to the other five? We failed. I'm sorry, Master. You should at least try it, though. It tastes a lot better than the curry did. What makes you think how it tastes is important? Uh -huh. What was the task again? Produce an 8-veggie stir-fry with 100 yen in 30 minutes. You didn't do so. <clears throat> I can tell something's bothering you, young lady. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, out with it. Go on. Is doing this stuff really gonna help him? I would think it would be more effective just to tell him what to do. True, spelling it out is the easy option. And he'd even feel like he understood for a while. But gaining knowledge in that way is a fleeting triumph. The significance of it doesn't sink in. I realize this seems like a roundabout way of doing things to you, but thinking on your feet and working toward an end goal becomes a technique in itself that allows you to survive. Just one more bout, please. Sainoyama, sir. I think it's time for us to take a breather and get cleaned up a bit. We're not the only people who want to use the ring. There's no point worrying about the others. It won't make us any stronger. If that's the case, there's someone else you should probably ask. He'd make a better opponent for you. Your brother, the Ozaki Daikesho. I don't want to fight him. Why? Do you hate him? I wouldn't say that. I have respect for him. He hasn't ended a season with a losing record yet. He's a talented Ozeki. Still, he's reached his professional limit. The strength of the Yokozuna has broken him. He knows everyone was expecting him to reach the top, but he's given up on that dream. I find it disgusting. That's where we differ. I'll live up to any and all expectations. Is that right? I'll surpass Tanoji and Kuze. My own brother, too. I'll take his place and be the strongest Yokozuna. What's that shrimp up to now? I thought he'd be back here annoying us. Last I heard, he was still training with Shunkai, working around the clock to improve that technique he was showing off. Did he say Shunkai? As in the former Yokozuna? <clears throat> you seem well informed. Tell me everything you know. <sighs> Another day of indentured servitude. It's not all bad. Check out this bath. The Yokozuna must be loaded. So how come he's only able to cough up a hundred yen to buy food? You'd think he could spend more. That's quite the monologue. <gasps> you eavesdropping old pervert! Go away! I live here, so I think I'll go wherever I want, young lady. I must say, you're working a great deal harder than I expected you would. Well, it's not as if I can just give up and leave, or he wouldn't be able to practice with you anymore. You've taken a real liking to him. <sighs> what? Don't be stupid! It's not like that at all! 
Yes, I have to. His sumo style inspires people. Oh, he was just talking about sumo. I suspect you don't have a natural affinity for our sport, do you? Well... Yet you want to see him succeed in the ring. No one can blame you. Compared to other wrestlers, his fighting style has a certain simplistic charm to it you just don't ever see in professional sumo. Watching him throw someone to the ground who's twice his size, that would get even a dead man's blood pumping. I think the reason we're both so willing to help him is because we're right there beside him, wanting the dream to be real. Yeah, sure, I want to help him out and stuff, but it's not like I'm really contributing. That isn't true. Huh? You're here, aren't you? Let's not mince words. The kid's got a thick skull. I thought the two of you would compliment each other nicely since you seem to have a decent head on your shoulders. That's why I asked you to stay here in the first place. Similar to how he's inspired and influenced you, I was hoping you'd be able to rub off on him as well. Don't tell me the Master sent you on an errand this late. I was on the phone with Kirihito. Look at this! To get ready for tomorrow, I went out and picked up every last sales flyer I could get my hands on. Oh, wow. I usually just pull up deals on my phone, like this. Whoa! You mean there's an easier way to do it? You're incredible! And you're out of touch. It may come as a shock to you, but the world's a bigger place than you think. Also, you don't have to use a payphone. I would have let you borrow mine. What I'm saying is you can ask me for help, you know? I mean, it's kind of my job, since I am your manager. <laughs> huh? Whoa, slow down! Reyna, you are a genius! Yeah. Aren't you going to help him today? You have a hundred yen and a half an hour to serve tempura over rice. Nah, uh, it seemed like he was confident. Hmm? Huh? Thank you for all your hard work. <sighs> Did you need something? As a master, you successfully trained two Yokozunas. But perhaps more importantly, you have the distinct honor of being one yourself. That's why I sought you out, Shunkai. To teach me. Mm hmm Guess what? I... Uh, Tenma Hikage! What are you doing here? Go away. This has nothing to do with you, Onimaru. Do you know this mountain? He just stormed in. We had an unofficial bout the other day. Hikage, sure. I'm well aware of who you are. You're the little brother of the Ozuki Daikesho, aren't you? Then you must already know about my dubious reputation. It appears that the closer to the top of Sumo is, the more poisonous things they have to say about me. I don't give a crap about rumors. If I don't think your training is worth my time, there's a simple solution. I'll pick up and leave. Hmm. Okay, hang on just a minute! You wanna train under him? Then take a number! If he's smart, then he'll drop this runty loser and make me his student instead. What? <clears throat> Listen up, young man. That's not how you go about asking to become an apprentice. Remember, I'm the one who ultimately decides if you're worth training or not. Obviously. It's up to the apprentice to win his master's favor. I'll show you who's more deserving of your instruction. Me, or Onimaru. The only problem we may have is this coward. He might be too afraid to accept my challenge. Ready when you are. Not so fast! <laughs> Idiot! What are you doing? I agree to take you in and this is how you repay me? You haven't perfected your triple combo technique! Go ahead and accept his challenge if you wish. But be warned, I'll kick you out! Then permit me to fight, sir. Hmm? We were going to eventually. I'll admit, when we had our first bout, I was intimidated by him. But I need to bury the old me. Just as I trusted and followed you, I'm asking you to place your faith in me, Master. I'll win this by using the 100,000 Demon Drop! Hmm. <laughs> Win me over, huh? He's more than two meters tall. Long arms, broad shoulders. His torso slightly compact, otherwise he's the perfect build. He does evoke a different kind of excitement than the little demon. Excuse me, Master. Huh? If Hinomaru fights, do we really have to leave? Don't ask me. That's just something I made up. Either way, if you don't talk a big game, you'll never get anywhere near the level of Yokozuna. Spirit! Oh. Oh, his power! 
power is incredible. In this modern era of sumo, size is everything. You'll never have a career in the ring. Taking a step back from sumo has helped me notice some things. It's not just my right elbow. Now that I'm well rested, my whole body is overflowing with power. Despite the little demon's physique, his body has a rigidity to it. He's full of surprises. Nice! Get in close! The last time I let you grab my belt so I could see your triple combo. But I won't be toying with you this time, Onimaru! It takes real skill to strike a target that low and minuscule with such intensity. Hey now! Forget landing that 100,000 demon drop! He's nowhere close to grabbing his belt. So you want to hit back? Don't underestimate me! You're mistaken if you think I'm some pushover, Odenta! Don't forget! I fought another national treasure, Mikazuki Munachika, and grabbed his untouchable belt! He's got it! Now, show it to me. The answer you've come up with. Our ridiculous difference in height allows him to execute a shoulder throw while holding my Mawashi belt. It's a fearsome technique. But the third contact point makes it a double-edged sword. All I have to do is avoid the leg sweep. Your triple combo dies today! I'll drive you into the ground! What? The hell? He lifted me up! Reverse hundred demon throw! Damn you! How dare you mock me! Yeah, maybe I got cocky because of the power of the technique. The 100,000 demon drop is difficult, but if I can pull it off, I win. That way of thinking made my sumo predictable. That's right. There are plenty of ways to initiate the 100,000 demon drop! I can't get out of this dance! Before executing the technique, first you must set up your opponent. Even when they know it's coming, they can't counter it if they're off balance. Now that you're seeing the big picture, there's no limit to the ways you can initiate the move. As the name suggests, it becomes an army of a hundred thousand demons. His sumo style inspires people. Watching him throw someone to the ground who's twice his size would get a dead man's blood pumping. Hundred thousand demon drop! <laughs> Truly splendid. It appears you've discovered the secret to unlocking your move. Yep. And based on that, I suppose you finally managed to solve the food riddle as well. Yes, sir. The challenge was to take a hundred yen and come back with tempura over rice. You never said that I had to make it. All it took me was one phone call. Hello? Got your takeout courtesy of Tenemon. You wouldn't mind picking up the tab, <laughs> right, sir? I've only got one thing to say to you, little demon. You've passed with flying colors. Well done, Hidamaru. You know, we've done your laundry, so we might as well welcome your guest. This is someone who deserves the utmost respect. Huh? I'm amazed. I didn't expect you to stick with my old-fashioned training methods. It's only right that I reward you for it. I asked him to make the trip out here so Hinamaru can have one, and only one, bout with him. Oh, wow. I mean, even I know who that is. Yes, a current Yokozuna. A man at the apex of the professional sumo world. Man, you didn't even last five seconds. The bout was over before I had time to process what was happening. I can't remember anything I did or how I ended up down here. <laughs> as long as you're happy, weirdo. I mean, I just witnessed the power of a Yokozuna. You know, I feel sort of guilty. I'm the only one having these great experiences. Huh? I've practiced with a Shibaki on the stable, trained with a former Yokozuna, and just had a surprise bout with a current one. Being this blessed scares me to death. I can't help but feel something bad's about to happen. So he's blessed. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm? Since he was shortchanged in physique, he could be rich in circumstance instead. 
When you reflect on all that's happened, do you actually feel like you've been blessed? Uh, yes, sir, I do. That's good to hear, because I agree. You're going to help me dream a good dream. Sir! But this summer, I'm focusing my energy on one thing! High school sumo! Thanks a ton, Hori. You're a lifesaver! <laughs> you don't mind if I take one? By the way, you're rocking that uniform today. What do you wear outside of school? And those glasses are the bomb. Have I suddenly become popular? Yeah, right. Keep dreaming. <laughs>